Welcome, this is Master Prophet Noel teaching you the secrets of acquiring real power. In this course, you will learn the universal truth about the many methods, the formulas, the rituals you must learn before you are graced with power. We will continue with today's teaching, The Secret of Acquiring Real Power. We'll be right back with today's teaching. The Secret of Acquiring Real Power Principle Number 1 the ritual of purification must be performed. When we begin to examine all the religions of the world, we witness that a ritual of purification must be performed before the initiate receives power and is granted by the powers of the gods and the deities they serve and call on, and the seeker is graced with the presence of their god and deities that will begin to manifest the power they will bring forth in their life. In the religion of Santeria, the high priest of Santero or Babalu has the initiate dressed in white to begin his ritual of purification and be blindfolded as he will be taken to a secret location where a ritual is being performed to the deities to summon them to grant the initiate the power he desires. The Santero, the Babalu, takes the initiate to an undisclosed place for a week while the high level of priests and Santeros and Babalus and helpers begin to call on the seven African deities to grant the seeker power. Now after many days of rituals of purification, the initiate will experience with cleansing baths and herbs and flowers and candles and songs and music and animal sacrifices, prayers and promises to serve the deities. After the completion of the ritual purification, the initiate has washed away his sins and previous life and is reborn. The Santero or the Babalu will place his hands on the initiate as he calls on his gods and deities to grant the seeker power. The seeker must then wait for the sign that the gods and deities have accepted him or her and will receive a mystical sign that he or she has power. As we begin to examine the religion of Christianity, you will witness that Jesus Christ walked the earth demonstrating no spiritual power until he accepted the ritual of purification. As Jesus Christ went into the John the Baptist and fulfilled the ritual of purification, John the Baptist laid his hands on him with prayers to summon his God. Jesus Christ was then dunked into the Jordan River which was very salty to purify him. Now John the Baptist understood the ritual purification would only be completed when the initiate experiences a mystical sign that will grant him the power he desires. In Matthew chapter 3 verse 16, as soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven opened and he saw the Spirit of God descending like him like a dove and alighting on him. A ritual purification must be performed to grant you now power. Let's join the live conference where I'm teaching this course. Welcome in to the live conference. Christ operated in no spiritual powers until he completed the ritual of purification and received the mystical sign. What's your thoughts on that? Um, Master Prophet, our purification is always step one. Yes. Um, we're to present ourselves. Uh, first of all, as a, as a slavery and sacrifice, but then uh, we go through the act of baptism oh, yes. uh, as, an, as an act of purification. So uh, uh, Jesus uh, knew this, and uh, he was able to uh, demonstrate this uh, for us. Oh, yes. And you know, we, today we're going to be talking about the secrets of acquiring real power. People, I want to let you know. That before you acquire, before you begin to manifest true power in your life, you must go through the ritual of purification. And if you look at all the world religions, if it be Christianity, Santeria, Hinduism, whatever religion you begin to look at, there's a situation where they teach the ritual of purification. Some people call it baptism. Some people call it dunking your old self and renewing your new 
true self, I call it the ritual of purification. Now, before you begin to manifest power, you must go through this ritual. You must begin to call upon God and the deities and the spirits and summon them and tell them that you are ready for power. Now, Mrs. Williams, are you on the line? Yes, I am. Good evening. Good evening. The ritual of purification is necessary before the gods and deities grant you power is because you are physically demonstrating to them that you are now ready to serve mankind. What's your thoughts on that? Well, you know, it's a part, it's an important part of the process. Yes. Um, and it, you know, it sends a message that you're, you know, sort of giving of yourself for the work. Yes. You know, that's for you. So, you know, it's very important. Oh, yes. And as a believer, you must understand, each and every one of you, that before you are granted power, you have to go through the process of purification. You have to understand that you cannot stand in front of the deities, the powers, God, the Holy Spirit, unless you are purified. Prophet Marlon, you on the line? Yes, Master Prophet. You cannot stand in front of the powers, the deity, the angels, God, the Father, the spirits, unless you are purified. Because if you stand in front of God and you are unholy, you will drop dead in his presence because God is a God of pure. And those that are not pure will be tied down with their ankle and they will be pushed out of the temple because they will drop dead right there. What's your thoughts on that? Well, that's like a powerful concept, and it's uh, the teaching on the first step and how we begin to enter into gaining that power, and it's a step that, you know, can't be skipped over. Oh, yes. And let me say it again. Mrs. Cross, you on the line? Yes, I'm here. Read the book of Leviticus and read the book of Deuteronomy. And if you came into the temple of God and you were living a life of sin, if you have sin on you, I guarantee you that you better hope that they had a rope around your leg because you would drop dead in the presence of God and they would have to pull you out of the temple. What's your thoughts? Uh, that's your prophet. Uh, God. Oh my God. Purity. Yes. Anyway, and nothing that is stained uh, with sin, as we call it, would be able to stand in the presence. That's right. Oh, yes. And this is the reason why each and every believer that desires to acquire power must go to the ritual of purification. People, you must begin to go to the ritual. You cannot read a book and think you're going to get power because power does not come from a book. It comes as you stand in front of the gods. If you look at the Egyptian religion and you look at ancient Greeks and all these other religions, they did not receive power by a certain prayer that they would say. They received power by the demonstration of them staying close to the divine. Now, Mrs. Cross, you still on the line? Yes, I'm here. Many people think they can get power by reading a book. And I will be the first one to tell you, you cannot get power from reading a book. You get power as you stand in the presence of the divine. You have to go through a purification, people. You must begin to show the divine that you are ready for service. So you go through 